Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the best ways to connect your trolling motor to your battery. It's very important. I've learned throughout the years that if your trolling motor is your primary set of propulsion, that having a strong and healthy connection to your battery is everything. Um, so, if you're not going with anything fancy, which we're going to talk about in a second, the best way to do it is to just use whatever connectors came with your motor. In which case, on this Minn Kota one, it's just these. And this creates a really strong connection as long as you tighten these nuts down really nice it's healthy sand them off every periodically every few weeks get the corrosion off of them and you really can't go wrong there my problem with it was just the act of tightening them you know and a and little bit of work it caused I always wanted to you know skip that step so I went to alligator clamps and I pretty much used them on all my motors the past year and it drove me nuts because Every few weeks, I noticed the alligator clamp, if they were new, after a lot of use, would begin to wear down and they would become looser. Um, they would lose their grip. And the looser they get, the more heat they generate. Okay, if you have a, a loose connection to your terminals, it's, it, it can spark and it just keeps generating and generating more heat. So it's a chain reaction with an alligator clamp. Eventually, the tension coil or the spring that makes the clamp clamp the heat is just going to keep changing its um, structure and just make it less and less of a coil or less and less tension on it and eventually just it just destroys itself to where it never has enough tension to keep that heat away and keep it from self-destructing so I'm done with alligator clamps on these trolling motors for good and I went looking for a new solution I found these um, trolling motor connector kits okay these are like plugs here, and they're pretty awesome. Since I have uh, found them, I've been hooked on them. I have a lot of batteries, as you can imagine, and each one of them has one of these on it now. Um, it's easy. They come like this. You get, you get two of these. They have really nice uh, heat shrink tubes on the end of them, and um, there's a cap here, and you got stainless steel connectors. So whenever you want to connect your motor to your battery, it's really simple. Just plug them, just like that. And these caps kind of stay on there so you don't have to worry about losing the caps. And then when you're not using them, you can keep that on there and that's going to keep water and rust and corrosion off of the, uh, you know, the, the stainless steel tabs that connect to one another and that's the most important thing. So really quick disconnect, really quick connect when you're out there. If I need to go from my primary battery to a backup battery, it only takes me a split second to just move that plug over and plug it into the next battery. So real quick, um, with this one, all I did was I used, for these, these were uh, 5 16th, so I got some 5 16th uh, ring terminals, and I just cut them, spliced it, crimped the ring terminal to that, put some uh, liquid electrical tape or what's even better is if you find uh, ring terminals that have heat shrink tubing attached to them and then you can just heat shrink them right onto these wires and it's a, it's a, it's a great setup right there. So let's look at the motor really quick. Okay, um, I am going to take these off and install this onto this motor. Obviously, we're going positive into the positive. And that's it. Okay, now for the next thing I want to do is I want to create a long extension, okay, with one of these plugs on one end and the same plug on the other end. And what that's going to do is if I want to go from my motor and reach all the way to a battery that is in the front of the boat in the front compartment, I can. I've never done that before because I've never had a wire long enough. But now at least I can try it.
and there we go. Now I have a really long connector for every one of the go, front to back on the boat. Well, once again, always keep your connection from your trolling motor to your battery nice and tight and clean. And these track trolling motor kits are really great. I now have one on every single motor and battery that I own. As always, everyone, tight lines.